Hello and welcome to the National AA Archives Workshop series of instructional videos on archival preservation and conservation. The purpose of these tutorials is to provide some simple techniques that archivists in Alcoholics Anonymous can use to stabilize and preserve our historic documents for future generations. The subject of this video is staple removal. Here are some basic guidelines for all our work. First, do no harm. Borrowed from the medical profession, this simply means we don't do anything that will damage or cause degradation to the materials we are entrusted with. Two, wash your hands. This is to prevent transfer of oils and dirt to the document. After washing, don't apply moisturizers or other skin products. Three, make sure your work surface is clean, uncluttered, and free from beverage containers, food, or other potential contaminants that could be spilled or transferred to the work materials. Four, if you are unsure how to do something, ask for help. Get some additional training and practice on non-archival materials. As it says in the big book, we realize we know only a little. Five, don't do anything that can't be undone later. We use water-based repair materials when necessary so they can be easily removed at a later time and for long-term protection in storage, we use encapsulation, not lamination. Six, do the minimum required to stabilize the material and extend its lifespan. We are not trying to return an item to brand new condition, which would negate some of the history of the document. Our tools for this session include a thin flat blade, such as a scalpel, exacto knife, or micro spatula, a set of needle nose pliers or forceps or tweezer, a pair of side cutters, and optionally a bone folder. We discourage the use of the old style staple remover with the large sharp teeth because of the obvious potential for damage to the document. When staples rust, the chemical reaction releases acids that attack paper and reduce its strength. Here on an old grapevine you can see how a rusting staple is spreading the deterioration up the spine. Now we'll begin the demonstration by showing how to remove staples using a non-archival material. This is a current AA group pamphlet that is uh, expendable. Hasn't rusted yet. So we begin by turning the pamphlet over exposing the staples on the inside. And flattening the fold out so that we can work on it. Taking our flat bladed tool, we work under each leg of the staple and fold it upwards. We straighten it out so it's perpendicular to the paper, sticking straight out. Now we take our side cutters and clip off the legs close to the paper. It can be useful to use the needle nose pliers to grip the leg as we cut it. Otherwise, sometimes the, the little piece of metal will fly away and uh, land on the work surface or on the floor or somewhere. Now we use the flat bladed tool to ease the staple up on the outside and the needle nose pliers or forceps to remove it. The purpose of clipping off the legs is so that we don't drag a rough, rusted staple leg through the hole and cause further damage.
by clipping down close to the paper, we remove most of the leg and it doesn't have to be pulled out through the hole. Ease the back of the staple up slightly so that we can grasp it with the pliers. And pull straight up. Now optionally we can use the bone folder to flatten out the paper where the holes were. This makes the holes less apparent. That's not an essential step, but it does neaten up the work.
Having practiced on a non-archival item, we're now going to move on to something that is archival. This is the Central Committee Charter from Alcoholics Anonymous in Portland, Oregon, dated March 1986, and the staples on this are showing definite signs of rust. We do the same procedure, use our flat blade, in this case I'm using a scalpel, to tease up the ends of the staple, being careful not to dig into the paper. A scalpel or an X-Acto knife has a very sharp blade, so it's important to be careful with not gouging the paper and also to be careful with your fingers. Again, I'm holding the leg of the staple with the needle nose pliers and clipping it off as close as I can to the surface of the paper. Turn it over tease up the back of the staple just enough to be able to get a hold of it with the pliers and pull straight up. The same process for the second staple. Getting the tip of the knife under the leg and prying it straight up from the paper. Taking the scalpel blade, I pry the back of the staple up just clear of the paper and then use the pliers to pull straight up and remove it. And using the bone folder, I can flatten out any raised parts of the hole. This pamphlet is now ready to be cleaned, stitched, and put into acid-free storage. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials and for information on the National AA Archives Workshop, visit us on the web at naaaw.org. There's also a lot of great information on Alcoholics Anonymous Archives on the General Service Office website at aa.org, search for archives and history. NAAAW is not affiliated with the GSO Alcoholics Anonymous Archives, we're just friends.